Well, <coughs> here's the body. Back plate, top plate, glued to the rim. And what I want to do now is route a rebate around the top and the back edges to take the, uh, the binding. So I've made up this very simple cradle, which will hold the body stable. Obviously it would rock around on the arched top or the arched back. And into my drill stand, I've fixed um, a router and the router has got a rebate cutter with the appropriate size bearing for the, <coughs> for the binding. So with the body in the cradle, the router will be switched on. I'll then push the body in towards the cutter. It will only go as far as the bearing. The bearing will run around on the side and <coughs> I'll be able to cut the rebate. So there we have it, one really quite clean rebate and the next thing then will be to do the rebate around the front and then bend the bindings and then they'll be glued in place. So I'm just now bending some strips of maple which will be the bindings. Right, so that's number three done. Nothing better than a finger to apply tight bond into a channel. Right. And of course, work quick okay. now the fun part Using wooden bindings, you need to have <coughs> really good pressure to get a decent glue joint. And I use this cloth tape, and it's pushing, you go the right way around, and it's pushing down and into the channel. Back in the day, late seventies, eighties, I made mostly classical guitars, and uh, this is really the traditional Spanish method of putting bindings onto an instrument. black that you can see is an on-slip mat which just helps obviously this tape sliding around particularly on this uh, carved surface but you can see you get plenty 
of tension in there. There you go. So that binding is held in place by that cloth tape. So leave that a good few hours. Um, take the tape off, which is a real hassle to wind it back up again and uh, do the last one here.